Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me the Chris Brown of slapping chem strikes and noobs in the face. And today we have episode two of how to get a chem strike, and I'm going to be covering all the different tactics and what you guys need to do to get that first ever chem strike. Now, if you guys remember, episode one was pretty much completely about the class, and uh, you know I covered what perks to use, what guns to use, and I even went the extra miles mile for you bros, and I uh, made an extra video about it. But before we jump into that, I wanted to ask each and every one of you that have a Twitter account to go follow me. Uh, link will be down in the description right at the top for you guys. And basically I want you guys to go over there and I want you to follow me and I want you to tweet me what you guys want to see in videos. Um, the reason I'm trying to kind of get my Twitter out there is because I'll tweet when I want to play with people or if any of you guys want to play with me the best way to be able to do that isn't to send me a friend request on Xbox Live but is to follow me on Twitter because whenever I want people to play with you know I will let you guys know and then you guys can send me a message or whatever it may be so check that out down in the description but let's jump into this video. The first thing I wanted to cover is the gameplay. Now this is the brand new DLC with the Maverick gun or the Maverick assault rifle with on the map fog. Now fog is a pretty scary map I guess just because there's fog everywhere and there's Michael Myers and there's the creepy broken down um, cabin that I sit in for the majority of the gameplay. But basically you know since this was a brand new DLC that I've never ever played before it's pretty much like day one you know this is a bit pretty much a brand new game you know i never touched the gun i never touched the maps or anything like that this is the closest that i can replicate to being brand new to a game and with this single tip i was able to get a chem strike my very first game on it and i think that kind of proves how effective is that that this tip can be and if done correctly you can get your chem strike without a problem now that tip is don't be overly aggressive you know that is easier said than done like if you know that there's a guy around the corner don't go around the corner you know you want to like lay down maybe find some cover and wait for him to come to you I know this is practically encouraging camping but you want to be able to put this tactic into your gameplay without camping you know what I mean like you it's pretty much it's map control okay you want to put yourself in a situation where you won't get shot in the back you won't get shot in the sides, and you can win the gunfights coming in front of you. And if you notice, for the majority of the gameplay, that's what I'm doing. You know, I'll I'll lay I'll lay down around a corner and wait for the people to come to me, and I'll just you know keep picking them off as they come because kids aren't smart enough to realize that, oh, he just killed me from there. I probably shouldn't go back there because he'll get me again. But you no, know, they'll go and sure as hell they'll go back and they'll die, and then you know, and then they won't think about it. Oh. He's over there laying down waiting for me. I'm going to go there again. And then he'll sure as hell he'll go there again and you'll get him again. So that's kind of what you got to do. You know, you, you got to get in their heads. You know, you got to be smarter than the enemies. And um, you notice for the majority of the gameplay, or at least part of it, I'm sitting up in the cabin looking through the windows. And since we only have, like, we have the B-DOM and the C-DOM, or it's either the C-DOM or the A-DOM. It's whatever one's behind the cabin. And um, I know they were going to try and get that home flag, so I would kill them coming from A-DOM or C-DOM or whatever they had. They'd just be booking it across the map, and I'd be sitting there picking kids off. Um, you know, I realize that it's not the most entertaining gameplay to watch, but I definitely think it was perfect for this video. So um, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I really hope you guys can kind of incorporate this when you're playing Call of Duty because it will help. You know, this was how I played for my first 40 or so chem strikes until I really figured out how the spawns work and figured out how the game plays and was able to rush around and be more aggressive. So um, with that being said, you know, try this out. You know, if you missed the episode one of this, just go to my channel and you can find the best class setups, which was episode one. And this was episode two, the tactics. So um, with that being said, have a fantastic day, guys. Let's go for 300, 3,000 subscribers. I, we're only... Uh, we're nearly halfway there. Uh, if you guys did miss the double chem strike with the Maverick, the annotation will be at the end of the video when you guys can click on that and check it out. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Let's go for 50 likes on this video. Um, last time I asked for like 25 and we got 200, which was absolutely mind-blowing. Follow me on Twitter. Link will be at the top of the description. And other than that, I hope, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I am out.